Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Brave Steve Polish, Nana's Island Escape, and I'm going to do a water marble. I've started off with IMK PLEs. And here are the polishes, Thunderball Grotto. And I'm going to use that as my base. I'm going to cap my free edge first and then go in with my first coat. Beautiful, beautiful, unusual shade of polish. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. And I know this color um, might not, you know, be everybody's cup of tea. I've said that before about certain polishes. Or, you know, it just might not be your thing. But for me, I, I've, I'm always on the lookout for an unusual polish. And this one definitely is kind of, I don't... I don't even know what, what you would describe it as. I did that when I did the swatch video. So I have applied three coats of this. And I probably could have got away with two. But since I decided to wear it for a day all on its own, I wanted it to be opaque. <laughs> I'm going to top it with some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it all in. Like I said, I did wear it to work so I could look at it and admire it all on its own. It's a very pretty color. Almost maybe a mix between papaya and cantaloupe or something. Very cool. So here's a swatch photo of it all on its own. And now for the water marble, I'll be using Thunderball Grotto, Tropic of Cancer, and Paradise Bay, as well as Yuck You! It's kind of a bonus polish. I've got my room temperature cup of water and some two fix. I've also got the IMK peel ease out again. Put my first drop in and I like to run my toothpick or water marble tool around the edge to pull the polish to the side of the cup. And then I'm just going to build a bullseye using these four beautiful um, polishes. Like I said, three of them are from the Nana's Island Escape collection, and the other one was just a bonus polish from Brave Steva that I picked up. Um, I couldn't help myself. Such a pretty blue. Now, by using the Thunderball Grotto as my base color, it does change the um, look of a couple of colors in this, but I really liked it the way it turned out. So today I'm just going to do the little zigzag, um, I guess, design. I didn't want to go too fancy or crazy or whatever. Chevrons, I guess that's what a lot of people would call these. Got a bubble, I had to pop it. So now I'm going to pick out what part of the design and, and at what angle I want to do this. So I'm kind of doing it on a diagonal kind of. Just to get a little bit of a different kind of water marble out of it. I'm going in with my toothpick and cleaning up the excess off the top of the water. Getting it all nice and clean. And then slowly pull out. Beautiful. Turned out just lovely. I'm going to use my little tweezers to go ahead and get this um, latex off of this finger. Snap and pull. That's how I do it. <laughs> There we go. And I am going to be speeding this up faster and faster each round. I am going to show you do, show you me doing four dips. So um, you've seen the first one. But I am going to speed them up. I think a lot of people do really enjoy seeing water marbling being done. Um, so I didn't want to cheat you and just show you one finger or two fingers. I decided to go ahead and show you the four today. I'm holding my hand up beside the cup because the air conditioning was running that day and I'm trying to keep it from blowing on the water and drying my polishes out. That's one of the things I love about Brave Steve polishes is they don't dry really quick and um, cause me to have to hurry too fast. But with this footage being kind of um, sped up, it does look pretty quick. So there we go for another perfect dip. Going to clean up the top of that water and continue. Oh, got a stringy there. There we go. I got a bubble. I'm going to pop it and then I run my toothpick to grab that extra polish. I am loving how this one turned out and 
and I'm oh here I'm running the toothpick around my nail to kind of break that seal sometimes I need it sometimes I don't um, but I do love it I just love these colors together I thought they were f so funky so 70s looking um, just really enjoyed it and I knew when I saw the collection that I wanted to do a water marble with them and this might not be the only water marble you ever see with them there's a chance I'll do the same polishes with another design. <laughs> That's just how nicely this one worked out. I'm already thinking about doing them again. So on my nail, when, when it does go on the nail, the Paradise Bay polish kind of changes color because of the um, me using a, a different undie. A lot of times I would use white, but... Um, it's not my favorite to use, so um, I normally like to use one of the lightest colors in the water marble. And sometimes it does change the color of the polishes, and that's okay. So this one has been really fun. I am going really fast now. Trust me, this old gal don't work that fast. But on this video, I wanted to show y'all all of it. So we are slamming doing it. Super speeded. It's like every time I wanted to do a finger, that air conditioner would kick on. It's like, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, there we go with the little zigzag design again. Chevrons, however you want to call it. And then make a spot and dip. So now we've got them all dipped. They're all covered. I like it. Cleaning up that water one last time. There we go. I've got just a tiny bit of cleanup. I'm going to do some with the Q-tip right here. Just where it went past my latex and up under my nail. I like doing that with the Q-tip as well. It works really good. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and do a little fine tuning. Just real easy. And with using a barrier, um, it made it real, real easy to, you know, to do. And I love easy. Y'all know I love me some easy cleanup. I've got a little tiny piece of latex. And I could have cut this out of the video, but I thought, no, this is real stuff. This is what we all struggle with. So I'm just trying to grab it. Got it. Successful. And just, I love these. I just loved how funky and groovy and all that it turned out. And just happy, happy. So I am going to top this with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls again. And now you're getting an up-close look. And you can see where that blue, that really light blue in some spots, it looks almost like a minty, a muted minty green. But I thought it was pretty cool still. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.